Hello everyone, my name is Jess and I will be taking your assembly today. We're going to have a little look at compassion, love and kindness. Now compassion means sharing other people's feelings when they're having a hard time and really understanding them. I've got a few items of clothing here and I want you to have a little think about where you might wear these items of clothing or who might wear these items of clothing. So first I've got this, it goes on my head like that. I was going to put that on, where might I be going? That's right, probably a wedding or somewhere that involved dressing up a bit fancy. What about this one? Okay, mask. Maybe I would be going to a masquerade ball. Again, a bit fancy. What about this? Got a high-vis jacket here. Maybe a matching cap to go with it. Might wear this if I worked as a bin person, bin collector, rubbish collector, or if I was needing to guide cars in a car park and tell them where they should go, which direction, somewhere that I would need to be seen because this is very bright. So maybe I would have a job that involved me wearing a bright, visible item of clothing. What about, hang on a second, this one. Why or who might wear this one? What do we think? A police officer. We need to be able to know who to go to if something happens and we get in trouble. They are identifiable because of the uniform that they wear. Just like when you go to school, you have a school uniform and we know which school you come from, which school you represent, where you learn. And it means that you are part of something. And what about this? Got a suit jacket here. There we go. Lovely, look very smart. Perhaps I was going again, maybe to a wedding or I could be going to a job interview or to work in a very posh office or as a lawyer or some, some posh job maybe. I think quite suits me, this suit jacket. There we go. But what we wear is important. What sort of clothing might you wear if you were going for a run or to get some exercise. Don't think you'd be wearing a wedding veil or a wedding dress, would you? You'd probably wear your trackies or leggings and a t-shirt and some trainers because we prepare ourselves by thinking about the clothing that we put on. If we were going for a, a big walk, we would wear walking boots and not flip-flops, probably. Um, if we were going to work on a farm, maybe we'd wear wellies again and not flip-flops. And so what we wear is important. Now I'm gonna tell you a little story, really short story, um, about a man called Paul who wrote a letter to all of the people that lived in Colossae. And he was telling them what to wear. And this story is in the Bible as well. Paul says this in his letter. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and loved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you gets upset with someone else, forgive them as the Lord forgave you. And over all of these things, put on love, which binds them together in perfect unity. Now, that might be a bit strange to think of clothing yourself in all of those things. But we can 
make a conscious decision to decide to act a certain way or have those emotions, we have a certain amount of control over our own emotions as well and the way in which we, re we respond to people. Maybe next time you're putting on your hat, you can pretend that you're putting on some compassion, a hat of compassion. Maybe the next time you get up in the morning and you're putting on your t-shirt, you can think that you are putting on the t-shirt of kindness. Maybe when you put your trousers on or your tights or your leggings or your shorts, you can think that you are putting on forgiveness. Maybe when you put your socks on or your shoes on, you can think that you are putting on love, that you are choosing to be loving and compassionate and kind to other people. And I think that's much nicer than if we say put on a cardigan of anger or a hoodie of jealousy. Let's turn those things into positive things. And when we're actually getting dressed in the morning, maybe think, actually, I could be a bit kinder today. I could be a bit more loving today and have those as little reminders. And that short story from Colossians in the Bible, that letter that Paul wrote that says, clothe yourselves in all of these things. We get to make that decision. We get to make that decision on how we act and respond to other people. Let's just pray to finish. And if you'd like to join in, you can close your eyes and say Amen at the end. Lord, thank you that you give us all of these things. Thank you that you give us the, the ability to show compassion and love and kindness and help us to choose to clothe ourselves in these things, in these responses and these actions every day, rather than to put on things like anger and jealousy and maybe the things that might mean that we're not so nice. Sometimes it's not always easy, Lord, but we ask that you are with us and you help us to be loving and compassionate to those around us. Amen.